Can you they switch states? How testing? hard is that? Sorry, go ahead, buddy. Did, oh, do they drug can, test us? No. Can you switch states? How hard is it to do that? You can go just about every anywhere you want, but it takes eighteen months. You have to be in a place for eighteen months to transfer. It, do you have two years probation? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, me personally. I thought you meant prisoners in general. I thought maybe oh, you'd oh. like to live in a different state. Ah, uh, that wouldn't help me, like, because like, I got federal charges. I know. I, I, I see what you're thinking there. Yeah, it wouldn't matter if I was in Colorado, where like weed is legal. Like, I still couldn't smoke there because I'm on this federal probation or whatever. Um, uh, oh, I but that would only that. that would only that would only cause be an issue if you were dealing with federal agents. Like, if you were in California, as, so long like if you had. 13 pounds of actually I, that's too much i, I have a federal <laughs> probation officer though 13 pounds oh, who drug so tests you do him. have to check in with him gotcha yeah, that, yeah, yeah. bruce was asking about the drug test thing in in yeah, prison yeah. though did they test you throughout yeah, about you. not no they they don't test at all unless like um there's a reason to test but but it's expensive to test and they're trying to come as far the farther under budget they are the bigger their bonuses are so they don't want to waste money well, yeah and then they tests. definitely don't want to drug test and be like shit there's people smoking there's people doing heroin in our prison so. yeah mm. and there are there are people doing heroin in the prison um, but, but yeah, yeah, I'm on federal probation. So like I, I've been tested twice since I've been out. Um, but I think I'll out. do Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You've been um, out and, for and, two weeks. Uh, not even that. No. Yeah. Less Seven than... days. Um, <laughs> oh, my math is way off. It's been two episodes, like, hey. Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seven days. Cause I got out, we did an episode and then this is the right. yeah, one you're... week later, seven days. Um, so yeah, yeah. Well, when I got out, I like the next day I reported and I, I drove up there and, uh, I met this, this senior uh, probation officer who formerly was my probation officer, real nice guy. I like him a lot. We watched the same YouTube channels about cooking hmm. and, oh. uh, and, uh, and he tested me. And then I came back, uh, Monday, this just past Monday and I met my personal probation officer and he tested me and he told me like, you get tested like three times, like right away. And he's like, we'll just try to knock those out as fast as possible. And then I'm going to be on the code of phone system, I think, for a couple months, which is where you call in. I have a personal number that corresponds to me. A voice reads out all these three-digit numbers. If they call your number, I drive this place just down the road, and I get drug tested there. Uh, so, so they test for everything. I have a question. And this lasts for two years? Um, yes and no. Like, 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 I think the drug testing, I think the code of phone thing, for example, I think that that's only going to be for a couple more months because – I was on it for like a year and a half and, and you know, I, I never, I w didn't do any fucking drugs, I guess. I don't know how it's put it. And, uh, I think as long as I don't get in any trouble for like the first half of my probation, I can go back before the judge and maybe be like, Hey, can you let me out of this thing? I've been good for a year. And, and I think he can release me and let me out in a year and then I'd be able to do anything I want. So hypothetically, well, yeah. if you had a, a normal day job, either office hours or your uh, car salesman type job. How difficult would it be to comply with probation while you're trying to earn a living? Not at all. They'll work around you. Okay. They'll, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll work around you because they want you to be, you know, stable and, and employed and all that stuff. Oh, cool. Um, and I think I'm going to have a new, an, another probation officer anyway. Like I met with a guy uh, just the other day and he was like, you know, I think we're going to put all your relevant information into the computer and it'll spit out your threat level. And uh, and he's got like a like a chart over there that goes from like blue to red, like four or five levels. And he's like, I think you're gonna be a low. And I'm like, if I'm not a low, I don't know what is. <laughs> and, uh, and I had, and it, I mean, just barely more than a hundred guns. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I so I think I have a different probation officer. I think it'll be this young lady who just got promoted to a probation officer. So she'll probably be my officer uh, uh, yeah. soon enough. I think that question was like my bias showing through. Like I had this idea that like man, they put you in there, you come out broke and hopeless, and then you can't get a job and this and that. And it's only some of that is accurate, I guess. If you're yeah. broke going in, you're going to be broke coming out. But the, yeah. like, wouldn't it be cool if that didn't have to be? Like, you know, if you earn more than eight cents an hour and you could have a little nest egg coming out and hit land on your feet. Eight cents an hour, that is crazy. Like, that that's just slavery. Nuts. Yeah. It's about 20 bucks a month. Why, oh why my do God! Say, how do they how do they, uh, how do they justify the fact that they're paying you eight cents an hour? Like, why, well, why why even pay you at that point? Yeah, I'd rather have um, nothing more dignity. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, whenever they abolish slavery, um, what the part they they always read the first sentence. They never read the second sentence of that of that um, of that amendment. Um, the second part is, except in the case of punishment. Does it you say know, that? Slavery. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So so it's it's literal slavery. Um, they force you to get a job, and they'll punish you if you don't work it. Hmm. 
but you, crazy, you weren't there long enough to get jobs. Uh, I was. There was some kind of mess up in the system, and I, I didn't get medically cleared until I had a week left to go. And uh, and then they they assigned me a job on the day before my release, and at about two in the afternoon. And uh, I, I almost was like, so what do I need? Who do I report to? What work do I do? But then I was like, don't say a word. Walk away. Was I in prison when you were on last time? Or do I just would, have a terrible would, memory? No, you had just gotten out. You just got ah, out okay. for like two, three ah, weeks. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how are you feeling? <laughs> You know, sore. I, <laughs> yeah. have you adapted? Like you feel back to normal society? Uh, yeah, yeah, more le more or less. You know, yeah, um, light still really out at 9 predictable shit schedule now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Man. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything, things are nice. You know, I'm allowed sharp objects. I mean, not dangerous ones or anything, but but no, no, of course, reasonably not, sharp objects and. All, What's all the, the sharpest trappings. thing you can have? A steak knife? I can have kitchen knives. I can do this. Wow. But, but, but as my PO said, <laughs> keep them in the kitchen. <laughs> right, right. That is hilarious. <laughs> you take steak knives for your fine ass sous vide steaks. You got to keep them in the kitchen. Sitting there upset. He's, well, some... he's going to like bust in. I'm going to be like cutting a steak up in the living room. And he's going to be like, aha! <laughs> I gotcha. What are these extra pointy tweezers doing in the bathroom, Kyle? No weapons. <laughs> ah, a toothpick. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah, that sounds pretty terrible. I can't wait till you're off probation and you can just yeah, me and, me get and on me with both. your life. I can't wait till I, I, my, my drug tests are over. I took another one today. You know, they're, they're, they come on these like random like schedule. I never know. I call the number. It lets me know. So today I had to go pee. And What's a uh, bigger pain, calling the number or taking the drug test? Well, taking the drug test because, you know, oh. calling the number is requires to just need to you know, make a phone call. And it's you an gotta automated drive like an system. hour away, don't you? But no, it was, no. so like that would bother me. The calling the number like it's a schedule. It's a thing that needs to be done. If it doesn't get done, the consequences could be huge. Like that's. Yeah, it is a little stressful. Like like sometimes I'll be like, did I call? I have forgotten to call and I'll, I'll be I'll just be like. <laughs> Probably didn't have to take a drug test today. <laughs> They'll call me tomorrow if I did. I, that's what would happen if, if okay. I missed a drug test. Yeah. If I didn't show up, like I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they, you know, my probation officer would call me and she'd be like, "Hey, you didn't show up for your your analysis yesterday." I'm like, "Oh shit, I must have like called too early or called yeah. too late." They'd be understanding, given how busy your agenda is. Like, like, <laughs> that's the, that, i'm sorry i was coming off a 14 hour tarkov binge and i was feeling a little weird. <laughs> how do you call every day kyle yeah uh not weekends that's um, the kind of thing that's very difficult for me to remember like like let's say i have a a run of like uh you know painkiller not painkillers uh amoxicillin or whatever it is i'm taking because it's so similar i'm like did i take this today i have a memory of taking it but that memory is identical from every other time I've taken sure. it. And that's why it's hard for me to remember like that. Well, you know, your phone does that thing where I, I just go to recent right, calls log. and I, I just, I'm like, ah, Thursday at 9 AM I called and, and like <clears throat> it does work. So like after I think 4 PM, like I could call right now and find out about tomorrow. Um, cause I could have called three hours and found out about tomorrow. I haven't cause I put it off the last minute. I usually do it like when I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, please not today, please not today. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's go drink suck. some juice because the worst thing is like you get there and you can't piss because then they're like oh really you can't piss oh, mm. they're, sus they're suspecting like, you immediately <laughs> 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 I, I have been there before and and uh like like the one i go to now like like there, there's a couple different places i go like like if it's the holidays i have to go to like a federal building like an hour away and it's like sketchy it they're, sucks you go through metal detectors and they're kind of rude they're like ah, 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 take your coat off and i'm like oh i'll take it off slowly and they're like you got any <laughs> you weapons got dicks on you? in there like take your shoes off and your belt i'm like i'm wearing flip-flops and i bring a belt and they're like good <laughs> God. They're, it's almost like I've disarmed them. They're, like, they're like, dick. <laughs> like, damn it, I can't make him take his shoes and belt off. That was that's like 90% of how I get off. <laughs> <laughs> There's some guy out there whose job it is to watch what you do, and he's just like every day he gets home from work, he's like, ah, oh, another wonderful day. <laughs> of, I'll of tell you watching what. piss tests. <laughs> so the, so the probation officer, he was in the bathroom with me, like like when I whenever I had to go there, and there is a mirror like right above the toilet. So I just assume he's looking in the mirror and looking at my dick, but whatever. But when I go to the place I 
like went to today, which is like 15, 20 minutes away from me. He's just like, D do your thing. And he's like in the room back behind me, filling out the paperwork. And I go in, I fill my cup up. He doesn't wear gloves. He doesn't care. Mm. Like, like he just, he just, he, gr and I'm thinking like, I'm, I, I hand this cup of piss to him so carefully because I feel like it would be so awful if I spilled some yeah, piss on gross. him. I don't think he'd flinch. <laughs> I don't think he'd no, flinch. Urine is sterile. I mean, so you're, you can you can spill urine. You can drink urine. You can do you can basically do whatever you want with urine. And it's totally fine. Right then. Hey, you were telling us before the show started that you got a surprise visit. Yeah, ah. yeah. So, um. My uh, probation officer showed up randomly like uh, yesterday, I think. I think it was yesterday. And uh, he had called me and he had also emailed me, but I didn't see either. The, the call was like a, a number I didn't know and we were playing zombies. So I was just like, screen. And mm -hmm. uh, I didn't check my email for like a day. And so I missed it. But um, <clears throat> he just showed up and had his you know piss test in his hand. I'm like, aha. I, I knew it was him because he introduced himself because mm -hmm. I'd never seen him before. Oh, I thought I had a... I could have sworn I had a female um, officer, like, uh, and I'd never seen her either. Uh -huh. So, like, I started with this one guy pre-trial, and while I was in prison, he got promoted to like regional manager or assistant to the regional manager. I'm not <laughs> sure which. And uh, and so when I got out, he assigned me to this other guy, this young guy, and uh, but that guy only dealt with like more high risk people, not people who had half an ounce of marijuana one time. Mm -hmm. I think he's dealing with like actual fucking hardened criminals and like violent criminals. So he's like, I'm going to bump you down to this, this girl who's just started. And I'm like, ah, all right, cool. And I have literally never seen her. I was there. <clears throat> I was there doing a piss test one day and um, ha you have to have a male officer, obviously look at your dick. So, you know, so my the female officer wouldn't be the one to come into the bathroom with me. And, uh, and so, the high risk guy, he goes in the bathroom with me. We do the piss test and everything. And on the way out, he like kind of yells down the hallway and into a door. Hey, uh, Diane, do you need to see him for anything? And I just hear no. And he's like, all right, you're good to go. That's the only contact I've ever had with her. Hmm. And so I assumed that I had a female officer, uh, but I haven't had any contact with them other than like, I do this online self-report thing where I just go to a website, put in my password and code. Have you done drugs? No, <laughs> that's one of the questions. Really? That's one of the questions. Yeah. Have you done any illegal drugs? Nope. Had any guns? Nope. Had any, you know, just all, all, all these like, and it's the same questions every month. Just, I'm just, nope, 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 nope. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes. Nope. So you have and, to get the, I hate that. They should yeah. make the right answer all the same. All the same. Oh, I pay so much attention. Like what if, <laughs> what if they're like, well, you, it seems you filled out that you've been in possession of firearms and drugs. And I'm like, oh no, that's a misclick. Tough shit. You verified it with your password at the end. Right? It's like, <laughs> Just put your hands behind your back, please. Have you taken any drugs? Have you been avoiding guns? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In the no? phraseology, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, did the drug test, and it was all good. He was... Um, Were you nervous? I took a drug test for a, a job once. And even though I don't do drugs, I was like, do I do poppy seeds? Do I do, <laughs> like, I don't know. They're, 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 that's the only one I can think of. But there's a couple that can give you false positives. Sure. Yeah. No, I wasn't nervous at all. I've taken so many at this point, mm -hmm. um, especially when I used to have to go, like, almost every week or every 10, 15 days, like three or four a month. And uh, so, I don't know. I've taken so many at this point. I, it's not a big deal. And uh, you just you pee in the cup, and the cup itself is the test. It's like a pool, like one of those pool um yeah, like thing. you, so you dip the water the pH. in, yeah. and it shows you the pH and everything. So it's, you got it's a an lot instant like answer. You knew you passed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he. I, I pee in the cup. I put the lid on. I hand it to him. He goes, "Oh, you're all good. You can pour that out, and we're we're kind of done." Hmm. But uh, it was good to see him because uh, he he asked me what I was doing for Thanksgiving, <clears throat> and I was like, "I don't know. I, you know, family probably come out here. You know, I'm not allowed to go to them." And he's like, "Oh, we. Anytime you want to go up there, you just can." He's like, just email me and, uh, you know, let me know when you're leaving and when you're coming back. So that I knew I could ask for that, but I never wanted to bother mm -hmm. them about it. But now I think I will. I'll shoot him an email and see if you can uh, parlay that into a Colorado trip. <laughs> 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 I'm an avid skier. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
right to say that your passion for motorcycles has kind of waned? Like, it, it, no, was a... I, I just I'm just kind of putting everything off because it's because I'm so close to freedom that like I don't want to like get held down by making a major person of purchase of something like a motorcycle or a car right now because I feel like I could get like the call tomorrow. They're like, ah, you're free to go, and it's just like, all right, got to figure out a moving situation and someone to do it because I'm heading to the airport. Like, like I, I just want to like go immediately and get and, and leave, and I don't want to be tied down by any real material possessions. I've got things here that I, I'm not leaving behind. Like, mm-hmm. like I like my bed, I like my dressers, I like my living room furniture, and uh, all my kitchen gadgets, and and I've got a couple of really big TVs and all my gaming shit and my whole setup here and all this, my wardrobe. But that's about all I'm taking. And then that all needs to be packed up. You hauled across the country. Like I'm, I've been, I've been making plans. Like every evening, I put some thought into like hmm. what that move is going to be like and how to facilitate it efficiently and quickly and uh, and cheaply all at the same time. Like like I really hope I can get somebody like Jeremy to like drive a U-Haul with everything I own in it across the country while I immediately like fly there, get an Airbnb while I start looking for houses and figure hmm. and. And if I can't find a house to purchase fast enough, I'm just going to rent a house, even if it's for like six months while I like make a, a, a non-rushed purchasing decision of a house. Like, like I'm going as soon as possible. Though. There's no way I'm staying in Georgia while I research houses that are in yeah. Colorado for months at a time and then going through what's that process? Um, Closing. Uh, yeah, going through clo- uh, you know a potential like thirty day closing or something like that. No, I want to be high as soon as it's fucking possible, and I want to <laughs> stay high forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a few months from now, you'll be like, can you believe that I used to put on PBS and take sleep pills to try and get high? <laughs> no, no, because because like when I'm when I'm high, first of all, I have no dreams when I'm high, and I sleep so well. Every night, it's eight hours of the most restful sleep ever. I wake up and I'm just like, "Don't even yawn. You're so you're you're so rested. You're just like, all right, the day begins. Like, gotta get high again. Let's get to it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've woken up not high. Time to get high. <laughs> Luckily, I took an edible before I fell asleep, so I'm still a little high from that, but not high enough. Your like, tolerance is gonna go from zero to so high so quickly. I'm gonna enjoy that ride. You're gonna yes. be like two months in and be like, I gotta take a tea break already. I'm not high from anything. So yeah, I, I haven't lost enthusiasm for the the motorcycle or a new car. Those are things I still look at uh, pretty frequently. Uh, I do. I, I'm going to get the Shadow Sixty. I think. I think. I think that's what I was set is on. Is it Jag? Jaguar? No, no, no. That's the motorcycle. It's it. Oh, it may right. not be the Shadow. It's the. Uh, it I think it's the. Yeah, the Indian. Uh, the the sixty, the the five speed, not the six speed. Uh, I like that one. It's like eleven hundred cc motorcycle but whatever fuck it i don't care it's the one that looks cool and sounds good and i've seen a lot of like people say it's a decent beginner's bike i'm just not gonna twist the fucking accelerator to the point where i murder myself like i I think i can handle that i'm not i'm not gonna be one of those people that's like interested even in going like super fast or even accelerating super fast just i'm gonna ride that thing from like zero to 50 miles per hour on streets and stuff and just cruise around that's my that's my use case I uh I emailed my probation officer the other day and I was like, hey, um, dumb question. Um, <laughs> I, I I ask you those a lot because like I never know what he's gonna say yes or no to. It's it's kind of weird because I, at first I was under the impression that this guy was really want to be locked down, but like after meeting him, he, like he he realizes that like my whole situation is kind of bullshit. Like like he deals with like hardened criminals on a daily basis. Like he's all stress. He's he's telling me while I'm pissing in a cup. He's like, Kyle, I'm so stressed out. You don't even know this job. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know, man. I just, I just got out of prison uh, for uh, for half an ounce of weed. I'm pretty stressed out too. I'm pissing in a cup in front of, in front of a stranger in my bat in my guest bathroom right now. But he's just like, yeah, you know, you don't even know how stressful this job is. And he's, I'll he's be like, back. So we kind of got this connection, I thought. And so, like, when I wanted to go gambling with some friends, I was like, there's no way that he's going to let me drive to Cherokee, North Carolina, out of state, two states over, and gamble. Like, it just seems like something he's going to be like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? But I emailed him because I was I was in a call playing poker with friends already. And he was just like, 
yeah, where are you going to be staying? Like, you didn't give a fuck. He's like, how many days are you going to be gone? Like, where are you staying? Like, that's all I need to know. And I'm like, I'm going to stay for three days and I'm going to be at the Harris Resort in Cherokee, North Carolina. He's like, all right, have fun. Don't lose too much money. Like, didn't give a fuck. Damn. Why? Like, so I guess I'm just kind of confused. Like, what what is he choosing choosing to be lenient on? Like, do you have an in-state order or like, like what's the deal here? Like, yeah, yeah. So so my um my deal is uh, no alcohol. Um, I'm I'm stuck within a certain region of Georgia, not even the, just just the state of Georgia. Like it's the northern region, I believe, which doesn't even extend to northeast Georgia, where my parents are from. So I have to ask permission to like go see my dad and shit. Um, and uh, and, and so it's it's really just like Metro Atlanta and like the surrounding counties out like maybe three counties deep, if that makes uh -huh. sense. So it's like this like radius of 60 or 70 miles from Atlanta. Um, and so like, I, I didn't know if he was going like, to let me go or not, but he was just like immediately, like, I mean, 60 seconds later, just like, yeah, let me know where you're going with the email. So the other day, everybody I know is doing Delta eight, like everybody I know, like guys who did, who don't even smoke weed, who never smoked weed, the who fuck are like is Delta eight. You don't know? No, I don't either. Mm -mm. All right. So Delta eight is uh, made from hemp. Oh and, no, uh, it's synth weed. No, 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 no. Don't think synth weed. This is not like uh um like like K uh, like, like like K2 shit or whatever. This is Yeah, like right. That, it's not like, spice. No, it's not spice. Nothing like that. Like like this is the, this stuff is really legit. Um and it gets you high just like marijuana does apparently. And the industry has exploded. Like if there's some way to invest in it right now, do it for the short term because states haven't caught up yet. Because uh, they've got like flour that you can smoke, they've got um, pens like vape pens, and they've got concentrate. They've got everything that you can get from edible uh, from uh, marijuana. They've got edibles as well, and like everybody I know who's in like non legal states is doing this shit. And they're telling me like, mm. "Oh, I'm so fucking high right now." I'm like, "Yeah, but do you have like a hangover?" Like, "No, no, no. It's just like weed. I sleep super well at night, and then I wake up and I'm just ready to smoke some more if I want or not. I just feel great. I'm just like, shit." I want to do some Delta eight because it's like um, I, I don't understand the uh, the chemistry well enough to really break it down, but it's like one molecule off of marijuana essentially. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm I'm reading it. It literally is one molecule because Delta nine is just normal THC, and yeah. then it's just a little. Le it just says that it's less potent. It you know be they they don't really know why it gets you less high because it's still you know shit, but it'll get you high just like not. It's it's like a gray area. So that's cool. That's, it's, it's a gray area, and that's exactly what I wrote to him in the email when I asked him if I could smoke Delta Eight. <laughs> yeah. I messaged my probation officer. I'm like, hey, another dumb question here. Um, can I do Delta Eight? Because you know, my, everybody's doing it, and it's federally legal because of the hemp law, and I'm on federal probation. And uh, and he just like finally gets back to me after like a week or something. He's like, absolutely not. You cannot do that <laughs> under 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 uh, supervision. Um, blah blah blah. And I was like, fuck. Man, All that right. makes I I can't believe that that you can't even drink or anything like like it, like it just does. It really truly is one of the most wild concepts to me that you're like you're literally just locked into a small area of Georgia, not yeah. allowed to do fucking anything. And I'm like, yeah, I could go get that right now delivered to the door. And it's like, yeah. And then fly out of state with it. <laughs> yeah. It's super fucking lame. Oh. Um, I, I was, I was showing the camera earlier, but, I, but my camera's reversed and I don't know how to fix that yeah. shit. But, uh, uh, I've got this like uh countdown on my phone that I've shown people before, but it's got oh, William that's Wallace. What it is. Yeah. yeah, it's like William Wallace and it's freedom. Says freedom at the top. <laughs> and uh there's 106 days and seven hours left. And I'm and so Colorado, yeah. right? Or yeah, I've got this big trip planned. First things first, like the moment I'm allowed to, like my I'm gonna try to time it so that my plane is like leaving the state of Georgia the moment the clock rolls over. So I'm like 100 percent legal. But like uh, we're we're I'm flying to Colorado uh, with a bunch of friends. Like uh, it's actually a bunch of people. There's like five or six PKA fans. Like we've got this like uh, 50 dollar Discord, and they're like I hang out with those guys a lot. So like uh, I'm bringing them along, and so we're gonna rent this uh, pretty nice house. Uh, I wouldn't say mansion, but nicer than a house. I wouldn't say house either. It's a nice ass place for uh, for like a month. And I'm going to smoke weed every day. So much fucking weed for a fucking <laughs> month solid. Just get stoned every day, all day, every day uh, with the, with these dudes. And uh, and then like when they all go home, I'm staying for another two weeks at least. Uh, I'm smoking some more. 
And then uh, when I get back, I'm going to start like moving. I'm moving yeah. immediately. Like I'm getting out of this state. Like um, probably going to yeah, Colorado. Colorado is nice. Colorado is nice. Yeah, I love Colorado. I've been there so many times. Um, Cause like, and every time I went, it was for like a smokecation, mm -hmm. like 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 me and Chiz or uh, me and Chiz and Taylor. Like we we went for the Super Bowl one year. We just sort of plan a vacation that that was all about getting high as fuck in Denver or uh, in Telluride. Telluride's awesome if you've never yeah. been, and uh, and just having a good time in Colorado for seven or seven days or two weeks or something like that i i never do like those bullshit vacations where you just drop in somewhere for three days or some shit like <laughs> that's the only vacation i do <laughs> oh, it sucks man although you're, you're you're in la there's fun shit to do already yeah like, yeah i'm not i'm not pressed to, to i don't have to leave the state to do uh staycation or whatever in the fucking woods if i want to so. yeah yeah Zach says Texas allows guns for fellas. I don't give a fuck. You think I want a gun? You think I want a gun more than I want a joint? <laughs> I like guns. I love weed. <laughs> I'd shoot myself in the foot if I could smoke right now. I really would. Like, like, yeah, like, with, like, with what caliber? I mean, you know, because a foot bone, like that's gonna shatter, yeah. take a long time to uh, heal. I'm 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 aiming between the bones, but but I, I, I anything smaller than a 38, I think. Mm -hmm. I think anything yeah. smaller than 38, like, like any of those really smaller calibers. You didn't specify like uh, lethal weapons, so you just pick a pellet gun, technically. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's true. That's <laughs> true. Oh, Paintball, and, and, honestly. <laughs> that's the other thing that's on the list uh, for, for, you know, 106 days from now, because like um, obviously felons aren't allowed firearms, but mm -hmm. people who are on probation aren't allowed like anything. Like I can't even have like pepper spray or, uh, or like, I asked about my kitchen knives because I cook a lot and I have really nice kitchen knives. And uh, and the guy was just like, "Keep them in the kitchen." <laughs> I'm just like, "All right, all right, good. Thank you for not what taking away hell? my expensive ass fucking like chef's knives." And uh, so so like, but but there's a, this whole list of things that as a felon you can still have, and they include like almost anything archery related. And there are like some scary fucking crossbows, like repeater crossbows that cock themselves. And uh, but also they make these air rifles that shoot 50 caliber bullets at like the speed of sound. <laughs> so I, I definitely got to get one of those definitely gotta, and black powder <laughs> weapons. Like you remember how in the movies, like the pirates, um, all they had was those little like one shot yeah. pistols. Yeah. So they have like eight of them. So they're just like, 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 like Jack Sparrow <laughs> style, like pulling multiple pistols. So I got to get like a tactical vest with like eight muzzle loader pistols like 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 stuck into holsters on it you're so literally gonna be packed to, I can, it down oh my god yeah I can, I can reach for another one and go again yeah there's there's a lot of stuff on the shopping list for uh for october 2nd <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm i'm pretty excited i'm glad that this, this shit is almost wrapped up i was thinking about it today i was like i can't believe it's been two years since i got out almost two years you know it's a year and nine months or something yeah shit. i had no idea it was that freaking like restrictive as well being confined to one area like uh it's crazy to me i don't know yeah i I've, i thought it was you know every step of the way i've, I've just been like okay <laughs> it sounds miserable all right yeah all right cool yeah. we're like oh yeah and you'll have to come in for drug counseling sessions and i'm like mm. all right how many uh eight i'm like cool uh who pays for that you do <laughs> cool uh y'all take debit card no <laughs> this is like I remember, okay. I remember when right. I got into a, uh, a car accident a couple of years ago and um, it was uh, taking the insurance company like they were incompetent or something. And I was just sick of paying for my rental car. Um, they only paid for it for a certain amount of days. So I'm like, OK, I'll pay for it after the fact or whatever. I paid for it like, for like a week or so. And I got sick of that. So I was like, you know what? Just like take the rental car. I'll just sit it out until all this shit gets worked out or whatever. And I get the insurance claim. And um I was here for like two weeks or whatever. And it's not even the fact that like I wanted to go somewhere. It's the lack of option, yeah. like the lack of freedom. Like I I've been sitting in the house for like two weeks. No, no big deal, but two weeks. And I don't have the option to get the fuck out. If I want yeah. to, it does something to your head. All right. I don't yeah. know. This, 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 this reminds me of something. How, remind me. How, all right. So I'm 35. I turned 35 in, uh, in May. How old are you two, two guys? Uh, 32, like, 32, 32, 28. Good looking 32, by the way, and 28. Okay, yeah, you don't look 28. Both, both yeah. of you, just we're all aging well. Young dude. G, young G, damn, young. we're looking good. God, I don't want to smoke weed so fucking you can only get canceled <laughs> if you agree to being canceled. That's what right. Donald Trump taught us. Just, yeah. just 
Next week, heroin, and they won't be talking about the pot. Next all. week, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're ah, the something. classic. Double here's down, just double down. Week worse. after week. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do after heroin. Morphine, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no, that's uh, no, crocodile. Yeah. Crocodile, yeah. <laughs> Angel would, dust. Angel dust. You know those like time lapse videos where they put like food and watch it mold. Do that, but with your arm in crocodile, just like decompose <laughs> time lapse. Uh, yeah, like like, yeah, like we talked about it last week. I think I was I was like I'd probably do heroin. You know, like like I don't know if we talked about it on the show, but maybe privately even. Like, like I was just like, yeah, I'd probably try heroin. Like if it was legal. Like like because there's that um there was that bill that just got dropped recently, uh, proposing to decriminalize most major drugs. Good luck. And, yeah, I know, right? They can't even get they can't like, even do marijuana weed. banking. Yeah. Yeah. They can't get the banking straight for marijuana on a federal level. So who yeah. fucking knows? Um, but I was just like, yeah, I'd probably try heroin. Like, like, why not? Like, like, just a little heroin. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just a spoon. <laughs> a little bit. A, I would, a, a sample. A sample size, yeah. Yeah, Maybe. a little a flight of heroin. Mm -hmm. You know, of, of heroines. Yeah. Heroin. Like, like, heroin. I've, I've read how the different drugs make you feel, and heroin is the one that's most appealing. Just, yeah. Unstoppable happiness and contentness. Just whatever's going on. Just this a little is a thing too of beauty. Just a little too uh, addicting. Oh, would, it will think. ruin yeah. your life. Light, what is it? Good that slightly. first time. Like what I really want is like, I want to try the heroin, but I don't want to know where to get more. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, like, uh. like, like the problem with like alcohol and uh, and marijuana in most places. Um, I mean, my whole problem, the whole reason I got in trouble was because was that I didn't know where to get more marijuana. Right, like like my drug dealers, my You're drug right. dealers, like if I'd known where to get more, I wouldn't have had a problem. I had to like have a friend send it from out of state, and that that caused the whole kerfuffle. Mm -hmm. But uh, my drug dealer got locked up, and then my second drug dealer also got locked up, and then it was just like fuck, where do I get? And then like my third drug dealer was like friends with an ex girlfriend, so it was weird to like call an ex girlfriend, and be like, hey, you got Dave's number still? <laughs> like I don't want to call her and ask for Dave's number, and then I got to drive into the city. So it was a whole thing. It was easy. To, and I was just complaining to like a girl I knew, and she was like, "I'll send you weed." And I was like, "Oh, oh deal! What could go wrong?" But you know, if I just know where to get some weed, it wouldn't have been a problem. The same thing mm -hmm. with heroin. I want to do I want to do some heroin, but not have any idea where to get more. Because because if I do the heroin, I'm just like, "That was amazing." You know what I, you know you what know I'd what? love to do now. A more more heroin. It's a sizable it's a sizable stopgap, right? Because you're right. If if somebody was like go get heroin, my best guess would be like walk down Skid Row and just be like, does anyone have some heroin I can buy? <laughs> and I don't know if that's going to be super you like I don't know if that's going to work as well as I think it would. Yeah. But so so you're right, you know? Maybe it is a safe stopgap. Safe enough. Yeah. Yeah, I I have no idea where to get heroin. I could get weed super easy. Yeah, like, I was I gonna say, do you know how to get weed now? They do. Man, everywhere I go, they're smoking it. Like, like if I just go for like a nice little leisurely walk in my like um my my neighborhood, like like there's there's like this like mile and a half like loop that I, I go on sometimes in the neighborhood and just I'm waving to all my neighbors and like I'll smell weed at least once through that walk. Like at least one of my neighbors is smoking weed in their yard in broad fucking daylight. Like I don't know, I, I know all the neighbors who smoke weed because I've seen them do it in their fucking yards. And if if that if that didn't work, I just start going to gas stations and sniffing for it. I smelled it dead today, like I said. Like I, I I could totally be like, hey man, you smoking a little weed over there? Can I hit some? Can you tell me where to get some? You or got just the like green crack, brother. If I wanted to smoke on, weed like, at home, I don't have any way to get it. I don't have any idea, right? I could either ask subs, but that's sketchy because some of them hate me. <laughs> I could go to a, a local college campus and just grab my skateboard and hello, fellow kid it. But I don't know if that's going to work out either. <laughs> what I would actually do is just use Delta 8 instead because I can buy that uh, at stores. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little too easy. I mean, not even it's, – it's like literally I could get it delivered. Uh, I could walk across the street. I could do it. Like, and they take card. You can I can pay with card for delivery hmm. weed in-app purchases it's like at that point it's like well okay there is no limit like and they'll deliver it at like four in the morning it's like that's amazing that's so sick. oh it's wonderful so so much luxury like it was it was <laughs> because that was like the nightmare right to like run out of weed and then like, have like, no way to get more i can't tell you the horror it really is fucked like like, yeah. like when you're just like when you like to smoke and you smoke a lot and like your friends 
like to smoke with you and you're just out and they're out. Like I'd be calling, like, like I'd have like two or three friends that I like spoken code to. I won't go into the code at this point. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but like we had code. So I'd be like, hey, do you have any blah, 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 but blah, blah, blah sounded nothing like weed. And they'd be like, nope. I'm fresh out of apricots or whatever I was, you know, calling mm -hmm. weed. And I'm like, ah, do you know where I could get some tangerines maybe, or some, uh, some, some, some navel, some navel oranges or anything like, you know, nope, nope. Uh, no citrus to be had. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I really need some vitamin C over here, man. Like, like, <laughs> like, I, I don't want to get scurvy. You know, it's been a day. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 th but that's how it was for a while. It, it was one point where I had lots of friends who just had it, who just had it or knew where to get it. And then, like, it seemed like there was some, like, broad sweeping fucking thing in my area where, like, all my contacts got locked up, like, within like a, a three month period. Like, they were all getting arrested. I should have taken that as a, a sign. Right. I was be like, seems like everybody's getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, I should I should order mail. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should pack my bags and go to Colorado. I, that's, oh, I should just pack my bags and move to Colorado. There's no reason I couldn't have. Just go. Just go. Just go. How many on. more days? It must be 101? 108 109. or something. I feel like it was 108 last show. I feel like it was 108 a year ago. <laughs> you know, it's it it's it's fucking ticked down so slowly. 106 days. Five hours, okay. fifty-seven minutes, and forty-five seconds. Maybe it was one hundred eight on PKN. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I'm I'm pretty excited. Me and the boys are going to have a great time in Colorado, and uh, I might never come back. Honestly, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I'm never going to smoke. I'm, I'm not going to smoke in a in a state where it's not legal again. That's for damn sure. Yeah. No more trouble for me. Yeah. Not only not only legality, but like it's not as safe. Uh, there were these. Uh, the, the last time I had any, I guess, experience with marijuana was a really bad one. Uh, we got these uh, like homemade edibles. Someone brought over, but the person that brought them didn't make them. Whenever she handed them out to everybody, uh, it was a it was a bad time. Uh, a buddy of mine sort of having like a fucking. He was like sweating, and th the best way I can put it is my, my teeth itched. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what the fuck was in them, um, meth Ooh. or something. I don't fucking know, but it was not good. It did not, it wasn't a sensation I've ever felt before, and I don't want to feel it again. So I haven't really uh, messed around since That's then. That's the other thing I want to get back into. Like, I used to cook a lot of edibles. I'm really good at it. Like, I've mm -hmm. got a whole process. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's really in depth. It takes, you know, several hours, and uh, I make really, really fucking good edibles that taste good and are strong as fuck. Nice. And, uh, but I've had edibles from other people before um, that just ruined my night. Yeah. They just ruined my whole fucking night. It's, it's, I'm convinced that, you know, I don't really like. Most of my <laughs> therapy was court mandated, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> that's funny. But I think you said that it was time well spent. Yeah. You know, like without digging into it, but like. Yeah. Yeah, it was time well spent for sure. I'm glad. I'm glad we did it. Um, she was great because yeah. she was like, she was like, so you're here for uh, substance abuse? What was it uh, heroin or meth? I'm like, you're like, I got caught like, with weed. Like I had half an ounce of marijuana. She's like, that's not substance abuse. That's just okay. Is there anything else you'd like to focus on while we're here? Because we gotta <laughs> do we gotta do these sessions, and uh, you know. It's, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here no matter what. So are you. I'm like, yeah, we can knock some other shit out because, uh, you know, I really want to smoke some weed, but um, I don't think I have a substance abuse issue. I'm, I'm not getting the shakes or anything over here, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. And at that thing. point, you were off it for some extended period of time. Like, yeah, it had already been like a year time. or something crazy. What happens if you were to fail a drug test? Is it one uh, strike you're out? It's up to them. It, it's sort of really? discretionary. Yeah, yeah. We like, find like, out. Yeah. <laughs> got, He's 29 days. days away yeah. Kyle, let's, let's roll the it. dice I want you to smoke a blunt one minute before it goes because your, your <laughs> officer calls you and he's like hey what are you doing right Video now it. <laughs> yeah um, I, I think that I think the PO could it would be up to him what happened what the, sec, what the first step would be I think he could just do nothing if he really wanted to or he could like uh, potentially send me back in front of the judge and then the judge, he is he's got a ton of discretion, the way I understand it. Like like he could send me to jail, like for weeks at a time or something like that. 
or maybe even like go back and give me prison time, like 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 reopen the case or something. So like, I don't think that they would do that for like a first offense of like marijuana or something like that. But it's not mm. something that I've even what a shitty system fucking though. around that's with. Yeah, what an old, yeah. the fact that that can be done is just like. Because, like, there's doing? marijuana all around me. Like, I don't know where to actually go to get it. I guess I, like, know people who probably know where some is. But, like, like, like I'll, I'll be, like, walking through my neighborhood. I go and I, I walk a lot. And, like, dudes will be in their yard smoking weed, like, like hanging out just, like, right in their yards. Or, like, I'll be at the just gym. Just walk by like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, like, like cross oh. the street and go around. Like, like, or I'm at the gym and there's a guy who just has a, an, a, the stinks of weed. The aura. Like, 20, the, like he's, like, an aura. A, a yep. fucking dope stink on him, and, and just, he's just blazed out of his he's got mind. Got some good shit, huh? He's yeah. got some real good. You probably want to want to get to know him after after. Maybe the next so. Maybe so. No, I'm no like, he's going to Colorado. His I'm weed stores look like I, Apple stores. You all know, the just... yeah, exactly. All the weed that I'm going to smoke from now on is going to be legal weed, whether it's medical or uh, or, or recreational. One way or another, I'll get some legal weed. <laughs> So nobody There's going to be marijuana in my system in 30 days. Let me tell you right now. I guarantee <laughs> fucking to it. <laughs> I I keep bringing up politics, but I'm disappointed the Democrats in this. Like they started. Oh, legalizing it. Something passed the Listen, house. Maybe it's and awful. They stopped there. I don't know. It's such a you slam know? dunk. I don't understand. I truly, I'm like, I I think they're saving it for uh, the next presidential election oh, yeah. issue. Like I so, think they're gonna like. Um, it is. It is. It is. I'm pretty sure it is of majority preference to legalize or decriminalize marijuana across the aisle, right? Both Republican and Democrat, there is a plus 50%. It might, there's probably a disparity between the two, but like, come on, That's man. That's my impression too. It's like all Democrats and half a Republican. Who doesn't like weed? Like What's the problem? LAX, the fact that the TSA in California has a, an official statement that you can carry up to an ounce of, of flour uh, through TSA with no problem, no matter where you're going, they don't. They don't. Really? Yeah, there's, there's, they have no problem. Uh, I do it all the time, and it is a wonderful thing. Can, can so, I interrupt? What about yeah. the other side? Yeah. Like, what about is the there any side? checking on the? That's their problem. But nobody checks you on the way out from the airport. I'm not condoning this. This is illegal. You should not do this. But if you do fly, it is not the TSA in California's problem when you land in uh, Texas and you walk out with your half an ounce of marijuana. If you get stopped by a dog, like shit sucks. That's on right. you. But. It's so, not the TSA's that's problem, your problem, but you it's feel a, like there's a minimal risk on the departure side. I have never in any point or at any point been pulled. I don't even know if drug dogs give a shit about marijuana, if I'm honest with you. Because, like, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't know either. But, like, the amount of time for the last eight years that I've traveled with marijuana, I cannot fly without smoking prior to getting on the plane. It's just not a thing I can do. Uh, so that goes for both ways. I Like, I just get anxious. I like to sleep on the plane, whatever. Never been caught at any point in time, and I've flown like upwards of 150 times in the last couple of years. So it's now, like to you be know, clear, you're oh. only talking about domestic. Yeah, no, uh, no, absolutely not. International is a whole different risk level. You wouldn't no, do that. I wouldn't bring weed into another country, but I would bring weed into the airport and then eat the eat the weed prior to the international flight every time. That's right, right, do. right. Yeah, I, I get that. I just saying because like you like no one checks you on the departure side, but they check you in the yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, oh, at yeah, no point. In, so <laughs> yeah. like going to like Dominican Republic. No, fuck, bring, no, don't bring. Do not. They might bring have illicit. more there. <laughs> if the it DR. was the Netherlands, if it was the Netherlands, <laughs> they'd be like, yeah, you're good to go, brother. But like, <laughs> no, I would never do that. But I promise you that, like, the state of North Car Wilmington, North Carolina's TSA on my walkout was never like, wow, can't believe you do such a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's time. <sighs> so 29 more days, Kyle. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I'll... Uh, you're as, going as to I Colorado. That's locked in. And you might even stay there. Is it... Is moving to Colorado locked in? More or less. More or but less. The, okay. um, yeah, but the uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay out there for two weeks, guaranteed. Uh, that's how long I have the first Airbnb uh, booked for um, mm -hmm. with like a bunch of people, and then I'm probably gonna just stay out there for at least another week or two, either on my own or with like if a couple of those guys want to stay longer, like Scum or Chiz or somebody, uh, I'll get like a two or bed, two or three bedroom. Um, or if they don't, I'm staying. I'll just stay by myself and fly a girl out there or something like that. Like I'm staying for at least. At least two or three weeks, maybe a month. Uh, depends how I feel. Like if, if I'm like twenty five days in, twenty one days in, and I'm like, 
all right, I, maybe I need a tolerance break. This, <laughs> yeah. this has been an ordeal. Um, <laughs> then I might fly my ass home and uh, start packing my bags and like arranging the move and everything like that. Because I and, still have to do that. It's hard to like, like begin the moving process before I'm like legally free. Like, because right. I can't like even travel to like look at houses or apartments or whatever. With the, the way the real estate is right now, I think I'm going to rent for like six to eight months before I buy a place. Like real estate's so fucked up right now. I think this shit's going to crash within the next year. I hear Maybe you. Like it's on the way back down most. in Florida already. Well, yeah. so is it? In the next couple of months, you might be able to start finding some deals. Who knows? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna rent for a little while. Um, the 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 company that I rent through right now, like they have like places all around the country, and I know that if I like go through them, then they can like plug me right into a place at like a discounted yeah. rate. Mm-hmm. And I think they'll even help with some of the moving costs a little bit. Um, they're pre vetted. Cool you don't have to go through the yeah. you know process and everything. Yeah. Good. So um, I, I may just do that um, wherever I go. And, uh, and then like once I'm there, it's a lot easier to like buy houses. Because like right now, like what would I do if I wanted to like, let's just say buy a house in Colorado. I can't go out there to even begin the paperwork until I'm free. So right. then I would, it, that would be in this no man's land where I'm like living here in Georgia and trying to buy the place, trying to close on a cr- place across the country without like a home base in that country. Like. What you I might want to do, Kyle, even now-ish or not too long from now, is get pre-approved for a mortgage. Yeah. 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 That, that'll huge. grease the skids for when you, you know, buying a house. And also it might, like there could be something on there that you're not aware of that you need to address. I, I had a negative thing on my credit record that was a mistake. It was a medical mm-hmm. bill. They said I didn't pay $110. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I never even got the service. I don't know what it was about. I tried to pay it just to clean up the record and the place was out of business. Like it was just, uh, it was just that's wrong. Whack. And yeah, uh, I, I had to wait the last, for seven years, but shit like that happens. I spent the last, uh, like as soon as I got out of prison, I started working on that. Like, like mm-hmm. calling up, like, like I had, I had one thing on my credit from like, I had let my insurance lapse once my car insurance and they had put it on my credit for like $60. And so like I call, <laughs> I called and I was like, Hey, I have progressive insurance right now. And progressive has a, has a, has a fucking thing out of my credit. And they're like, yeah, we already sold that to the bullshittery fucking credit uh, credit collections collection yep. company the sharks. So I called them up, and uh, they said if I settled it, they would remove it, and it would like remove all negative impacts on my credit within like three months, and it did. So like yeah. my, my credit score went up like eighty points in three months or something like that. And then so I've been working on my credit for the last two years or something like that, and I've got it up to a pretty respectable range these days. Uh, I don't have anything negative on there anymore for sure. Trevor, did you say yours was nine hundred? No, no. I, oh. It's probably high 700s or something. Mm, mine was mine eight something. I didn't know is, it went over 800. And then when you said yours was 900, I was like, It depends no, on who I you're asking. Know. Does it go to nine? Isn't like I don't know what it goes to. Equifax is 950 and um, uh, FICO is 850. I'd like to flex my 838 out of 850 FICO score. Thank you. It has gotten me That's not a... laid, but it should. And that is why I'm saying it. So do call you, me you if you have that credit. profile? Do you I have a should. Oh, that credit shot? <laughs> oh my God. That's so smart. Yeah. No wonder. Well, boys, it is. Let's see what the old ticker says. It's close. We're close. Yes. What are we looking at? A ticker? Kyle, oh, I'm like, I'm down to freedom. I'm so I'm yeah. like I'm like vicariously excited for, for my friend Kyle. I'm so excited for him. I was on I was on the WhatsApp today. Like, hey, what, what, is today the day? Is, it, is, <laughs> <laughs> did it happen? I felt guilty. Like I missed a birthday. Or I wouldn't something. be here. I mean, I'd be here, but like here would be in Colorado. You'd be in like, the, like, in the on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe if, if, if Freedom if, Day was this morning, it, you'd probably wait till tonight or something i don't know no, really you, you have to travel you have to how would you it's a three-hour flight got a yeah, podcast okay. today no, if freedom was i mean midnight. i'd be here to do the show but oh, i'd be yeah. doing it there like like i'd have made it happen so you that I was figured there. it out um even if like, oh mid- you, you mean yeah. if it was like in an hour in two hours mm-hmm. oh i do the same thing I, even I, that I you probably leave after the show yeah the, the yeah, real challenge is if it was right before I'd, the I'd show somehow to. yeah i can't leave the state until like the ticker clicks over or whatever um but uh but yeah it's like a day day and two hours right a day and two hours yeah one day one hour 57 minutes wow exactly i wanted to ask you some about that like like just kind of recapping all that is your current mentality like finally this is up or is it like well obviously it is but like do you look back 
and kind of think, how did I get through this? Like, <laughs> how did how did I buckle down and just grind this for so long? Because I'm sure looking back, it's it's a percentage of your life, like a tenth it's of your life. It's been such a grind. It's yeah. been such a grind. When it's been such a grind. When was the day at the post office? Do you know that date? Oh, I don't remember. We looked it up the other day. Um, it was twenty um, early twenty eighteen, late twenty seventeen. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe um, early twenty eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, you can find it pretty easy. Um, it's uh, it's been four years ago almost. I would say. Mm -hmm. What was the most? I mean, obviously the prison part, but like <laughs> uh, as far <laughs> as far as like I don't know as, that's as far as as far as the waiting part, like what was the most difficult? Was it the very beginning where it's like this is an insurmountable amount of time? I can't fucking believe this. I can't even get high. Or was it like? two months to go you can sniff it and it's oh. you know, times in slow motion i mean I, I put the timer on my phone like back in january or something like mm -hmm. that <laughs> like, like 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 i, I the timer started at like 250 days or something i don't really remember exactly um but but yeah like like and and just just looking at the timer slowly tick down from 250 days to like four months three months two months one month has mm -hmm. been has been just a real fucking grind. Yeah, it's... over ten percent of your life has been lived under the cloud of this fucking yeah. Oh my god, hot raid. Yeah, it was twenty seventeen, yeah. August twenty seventeen. And and Kyle's thirty nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, man. It's been a while. I'm so glad that it's just on the cusp of being over. I'm, I'm so close. happy for you, man. Oh, it's gonna be great. I, I I've, I've got the whole thing. I know what I'm doing uh, Saturday. I'm I'm flying in, heading down to Telluride, getting in the fucking house. I know I've already talked to the the homeowner. I know when I'm getting like able to. I can't get into the house like as soon as I could because like somebody's staying there right now. So, but but like as soon as the cleaning is done, so I found like a place that I can stay and smoke weed. Um, like during the interim, like I found like like yeah. a pot bar where you can like. <laughs> You like That's you cool. like buy your weed um, at a, at a dispensary, take it in there, and you can smoke it indoors. But you you can't use like uh, like you have to use vapes or uh, or or, even, or nails. Uh, so you can do dabs and stuff. I've been to one of those. They, joints. they sell pastries too. Yeah, yeah, they they sell all, all sorts of stuff. Pastries are like. Like, uh, uh, yeah, regular. Uh, I mean, you go next door and get some weed pastries. No, like th this place that sells zero weed, it is only a place for you to legally smoke what you've purchased somewhere else. So a lot of times it'll be like in uh, Denver when I go so there to visit my munchies. cousin. It'll yeah, literally it'll be oh, the weed cool. store, and then there's the little uh, <laughs> like coffee the shop. store. Yeah, and you just go over there and you can buy coffee or you can buy like uh, pastries, like uh, Starbucks. I know the place you're talking pastries. about. It, you're talking about the coffee joint. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, you're talking about the That's coffee. That's got to have a funny name. What are you doing for a car? Um, like, oh, you just rent one, right? Well, okay. I guess I was. So when I rent a car, maybe I do it dumbly. It's like as expensive as the room. Like it's kind of a big deal. And I, and you were talking about staying for a month, and I'm like, shit. I think my dumbass would spend fifteen hundred on that car. No car, no car. Uh, I'm gonna Uber. Uber type yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. and just split Ubers, and uh, and get everything delivered. Like like you know, I can just switch my Amazon address to the house. I can. I've got Instacart. I've got like um, for groceries and stuff. And uh, if they don't, you can't get weed delivered in Denver. So like we will have to like Uber out to do that. And if we are for our activities, like like everybody's talking a big game right now about all the things they want to do. I'm sitting there like if we do one of these things, I'll be shocked because I'm going to be comatose. I'm going to be so goddamn high the whole time. And they all yeah. are like like. None of these guys have gone on a vacation with you. And when you think Kyle is exaggerating, when he says, I want to do nothing. He is not. He wants to, like, <laughs> like if you bring something up, like it could be anything. You want to go out to dinner? Uh, the the thing about that is, Taylor, they don't play Trailer Park Boys at restaurants, and <laughs> I'm high as shit. <laughs> and also, Taylor, we can't play magic there. I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm in for <laughs> for just staying in the house for the fifth day in a row. Yeah, I um, I I don't usually go out very much. I think I will this time, just because I have such a big diverse group of guys. Like like. The activities on the itinerary include, and, and again, if, if more than one of these happens, I'll be shocked. One of them wants to go fishing, and I'm just like, that ain't happening. Uh, yeah. Horseback riding, ATV rentals, skydiving, uh, motorcycle rentals. Um, Scum wants to go to a very fancy restaurant. Um, that'll That's probably, not undoable. Yeah, you can go to a That'll nice probably restaurant. happen. 
They don't um, play Trailer Park Boys at fancy restaurants, Taylor. But you can just get, get stoned, in the game. just get stoned as shit and like walk in in like slightly scared mode. And by the time you're sitting down, you're going to be in prime munch. You know. Yeah, I can just I'll I'll go into a restaurant with my vape at this point. I'll just go into the bathroom and get, oh, get yeah. the top up. You know. Uh. So so yeah, like like they want to do a whole bunch of activities, but I have I have a whole playlist of like stone songs that I've got that I've been building for the last month. <laughs> <laughs> read, read a couple read a couple off of it oh uh, my my music taste is lame but uh it's enjoy the silence by depeche mode take me to church by hosler uh float on by modest mouse uh i like, I like, MIA, I like uh, paper mouse. planes by mia uh life on mars david buoy uh power by kanye west white rabbit by jefferson airplane which is one pill makes you larger one mm-hmm. pill makes you small uh, Live and Let Die by Wings. Uh, I Do Anything for Love by Meatloaf. Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf. Hurricane by Bob Dylan. Psycho Killers by Talking Heads. And it goes on and on and on. I was Two waiting for the Ramones. Songs. I want to be sedated. No, he's a Meatloaf man. <laughs> <laughs> no room for the Ramones on the, on the Meatloaf playlist. Hang on, like, I, let me see. I don't know much about music because I don't really listen to music, but yeah, I do yeah, like Modest is. Mouse. It's a very chill, good stoner band. Yeah, maybe that's I, not cool to say. I don't know. Is that not a cool band? I don't know. I like it. I added a couple. Of, it was. I, I only listened to the coolest years ago. music, Taylor. I can't I, be bothered with that. <laughs> I, I, I only listen to what I personally am recommended from high schoolers, so that I'm, <laughs> so that I'm always on point. I've uh we've been we've we've got a whole like Discord to like figure out what movies to watch like like we've got like a gigantic list of movies I want to watch. Um, now this is of, interesting. What, what's a couple of the top yeah, ones? You, like, are they stack you, ranked? You're ready. Oh, so you got to keep in mind these are movies that I think will be fun high. So like not right. necessarily yeah. good movies, but movies that will be silly with a group of guys while we're stoned. And some of them are like so bad it's good movies. Like The Room, um, mm-hmm. by uh, Tommy Wiseau. Um, Flash Gordon, the original with the terrible special effects. I haven't seen that. Childhood Flash. me love ah. that movie and love that song. Yeah, so right. Much. Queen does the soundtrack. <laughs> I love so that much. song. So <laughs> much. <laughs> ah. He's like riding that silly s- sky scooter. <laughs> like, Savior like, of the universe. I think. Da, 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 da. It's great. Um, um, hey, I've got to let me just pull up the the, the whole yeah. Pull up the list. list. Yeah, I, I, I some of them I. I, I like my suggestions. I ignored everyone else's suggestions. And some of them are new that you just have purposely put off until you can smoke, right? Annihilation with Natalie Portman um, is supposed to be pretty, looked pretty trippy to me, so I've been putting it off. Um, so I'm going to watch that. Um, see, these guys have been fooling my movie suggestion thing with nonsense. Annihilation. Samurai Cop. Uh, Samurai Cop. That's a very bad movie. That's Never so even good. heard of funny. it. Um, Troll Two is 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 so bad it, that it's good, and it has like a cult fan base where they like there's like uh, there's like meetups and and group watches and theaters and stuff. Um, Mandy, uh, I want to see that. Um, I know Woody doesn't like it, but it's going to be so fucking trippy high with the colors and the the synth music. Princess Bride. Um, I like that. I like Ted. I like the first Ted movie. Uh, Pineapple Express. Uh, I like the the Dread movie, not the Stallone one. Uh, the Carl Urban one. Um, it's very old, and like it, most people have seen it so much they don't want to anymore. But uh, super bad. I remember watching that in college and getting stoned to shit. Really liking it. I like Super Bad a lot. It is on the list, honestly. Um, it's it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It was so funny this first time I saw it. Um, I'm hoping it holds up. Haven't seen it in a while. Definitely gonna watch some Trailer Park Boys. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of li- there's a bunch of them that are on my uh, I've been like I've been adding the, them to my um, list on my Amazon Fire device because I'm just gonna bring that and plug it into the mm-hmm. the system. But uh, but yeah, a bunch of movies like that. A lot of so bad it's good. Uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey, stuff like that. Like movies with trippy visuals. Harold um, and Kumar go to White Castle. I don't like that one. Okay. I also didn't find it very dazed funny. and confused. Anybody? No. I know a lot. Is of that the one where he's like, the thing I like about high school girls is I keep getting <laughs> older and they stay the same age. That's I enjoyed that. That's movie. like a pedophile thing to say. It's very much a so. scene and where... like in that movie, it's like, damn, this guy. You're supposed to be like, damn, this guy is cool. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene where this uh, the guy gets kind of bullied, and he decides to confront <laughs> the bully because he doesn't want to live with the introspection or self judgment that he 
bowed down to the bully. And I'm like, oh, I like that guy. I like that guy. He's like, you know what? It's not that he wanted to do this. It's that he didn't want to live a life where he didn't. PKN 372. So, William Wallace, how is your freedom? Oh, man, we've been having a great time. Just a Good. great time. Yeah. Um, landed a couple days ago and uh, got to our place here and uh, just been smoking a lot of marijuana. It's been a good time. Who's Did you? there? Oh, yeah. Who's um, ZT and Scum and uh, Chocolate Thunder and um, Fish right now. It's a good group. It's a good yeah. group. It's a good group of fellas. What? So it's just been... Has anybody been trying to push you into activities and you've had to be like, <laughs> and you've had to be like, I don't know if you thought I was joking in the way we were leading up to this, but no, I, I'm going to get high all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've, they, they've attempted it to, to no avail. You know? <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> they thought yeah. you were being facetious. For we one thing, them. for one thing I have just so like no, no tolerance whatsoever. So like just a little bit, like not only is really strong, but it lasts for a really long time. Like I'll mm -hmm. be, I'll be high for like four hours or something stupid. And, um, so if I smoke the wrong thing, then I end up just passing out and going to sleep for four <laughs> hours in the middle of the day anyway. So waste of money as, as that happened a couple it, times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I, 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 I slept in today. I slept in today. I was like, uh, they were like, Hey, go karts. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep right up until the, right up until PKN. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you guys should go, oh. you guys should go ride some go karts though. <laughs> I want to see you rent motorcycles. I, I know, I know, I like it. But also, Scum is there, and he is the wheelie master I wish I was. So I just want it to happen, that's all. It's not going to happen. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know what? You set clear boundaries, Kyle. I have to live with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, you throw some cold water on it. Leading it. <laughs> I talked about the possibility of it, but then when we got down to the nitty-gritty of it, Ducati it was like... Ducati scramblers or It was something. like, but where was I going to put my helmet and like like... I have two bags and they're both like packed to the brim with mm -hmm. all of my stuff. They're really honest. Like, I mean, I did bring my sous vide, but other than that, there weren't really any luxury items that I packed along for the trip. I really couldn't have fit the helmet unless I wore it onto the plane or something. I can't imagine. <laughs> I just, they're going to fuss about that. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I told us my COVID protection. Dude, some nerdy paramotor pilot someone. tried to wear his helmet on the plane. And it looks like a skateboard helmet with mm -hmm. earmuffs, which is why he wanted to wear it. He's like, this thing's got music playing and hearing protection and it's light and it's perfect for the airplane. And I'm like, except that you look like a terrorist. So. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's why, Why'd you buy the turban model? You could have just gotten <laughs> a regular looking like a helmet. dorky terrorist. <laughs> um, so, oh, so, yeah, so it's they, been a they don't rent helmets with the bikes. I don't know why. I just thought they'd have that oh uh, we found one place that did but at the mm -hmm. same time they also they rented you too much stuff so you had to get a truck and a trailer when you got the bike as well uh. because it was for uh it was for off-roading so like oh. there was no way to like ride the bike to where you do the off-roading so you'd get the truck trailer and bike and gear all together um i i'm i'm in no state to be riding a motorcycle right now uh for one thing but um but yeah <laughs> uh we considered it but then like not everybody rides so we'd have to leave somebody behind and it'd be a whole thing um, and also, yeah, I left all my gear at home because there was there was going to be room to pack all that shit together. Yeah, not Have to drag the topic on off roading. Probably not. Everyone sucks their first. It's like going surfing on one day. You'll you'll struggle to do anything. Fun. Oh, that wasn't my idea. All right, okay. I just throw it out there. You don't don't even do it. Don't plan to. No. So have uh, I'm sure. Is it weird? Because I'm assuming you have the lowest tolerance of anyone there. Mm, and that's probably so. not a position you've ever been in with weed. Mm -mm. And so for <laughs> once, you're the one where it's probably fish sitting there like, oh man, just try one more of these. Just half of one. Just half of one. <laughs> and you're just getting too... I, are you even able to do edibles right now? You're probably getting no. so ripped on just no. vape hits that you don't even need it. Oh wait, no. You have to build your tolerance in the next two days. <laughs> that's not going to happen. I'm Kyle, just going to... You, I'm going to be a... a I'm just going to be... something. Yeah, I'm just going to be a zombie on PKA. Is is what's going to happen? And I'm going to put my sunglasses on, and I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to like, I'm just going to nod when you guys say things. Maybe not take <laughs> it the first few minutes. Like, help us out a little bit for half a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us the first two hours so, can, so it's not just a nap? Yeah, if maybe. you get that high, I'm going to get the vape in protest. <laughs> <laughs> no, joined. no, please don't. We we do that in protest. I just go eat way too many Delta Eight gummies. You get the vape, and it's just. 
<laughs> and episode we all sit 500 here whatever nothing. we just nap <laughs> yeah <laughs> But if you guys like I, really thought about like black holes, like, <laughs> none of us know fucking what I'll probably <laughs> what I'll probably the- do is I'll take it about two hours into the show. Mm-hmm. That way you get two hours of like this version of me, which is still a little altered, but mm. can form sentences. And then like it starts kicking in like two hours into the show. Mm-hmm. And so oh no, I would take it two hours into the show, but it would start kicking in like an hour later, mm-hmm. and then like Right at the end of the show, I would be the least uh, the least here version of me that there was going to be. Have you done any uh, sous vide cooking yet, or no? No, dude, no. (laughs) Have you done any Uber Eats or Postmates yet? We made some tater tots last night. Um, That was that's the extent of the cooking so far. (laughs) But um, (laughs) I had a lovely charcuterie board on the flight over, um, so that was cool. The flight was flexing on poor Taylor. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. The uh, (laughs) we landed. We landed in Denver, and I was excited to. I was high when I landed because I smoked Delta Mm Eight. So like, uh, I smoked Delta Eight, which is legal in Georgia, but illegal in Colorado. So before I got on the plane, I just got real good and high, and. when when I landed, they couldn't get the uh, bridge to attach to the plane. Oh no! That's for almost an hour, for almost an hour, That's we sat long. there, and they had already taken the luggage out. So now it's kind of weird moving the plane because the the uh, the weight distribution is all wrong, um, and uh-huh. they're like uh, they're tail they're tail heavy. He said, and so what they need to do is leave this terminal and go to a new one that has a better like bridge attachy thing. Whatever I, that I hope called. they told everyone to walk to the front. <laughs> I, Attention, you, Master, you're you're not, sir. We're going to need you me. to come to first class. <laughs> we are going to need right. everybody to jump on three. <laughs> 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 we sat there for 45 minutes, and you, you ever see like a professional struggling with their area of expertise? Yeah. And you want to be like, hey, do this. But you're like, but I'm not an airline pilot, am I? Turns out I'm not a cardiologist. Maybe I'll let him make the incision. But I was sitting there like, why don't we just pull forward a little? An hour after we've been sitting there, he goes, we're going to try to, we're going to try a little maneuver here. He pulled forward two feet and hooked up. I swear to God this happened. He pulled forward two feet and hooked us up and we all got off the plane. That sucks. So just an hour of your time wasted. responsible for you not being pulled far enough? Was it the pilot? It was probably the guy on the ground with the flashlights. Um, I don't know, but like my, uh, the guy sitting next to me, his wife was actually in the terminal. So she was taking pictures so you could see the outside like viewpoint and sending them to him. And they're like two guys on top of the plane. The pilot's like looking out of, out of the, Mm -hmm. um, window. He's got the windows open and they're just yelling at each other. I I don't know what the fuck happened, but when I finally got on the ground, I was so happy that that was just over that I was just off that plane because it it didn't seem like we were going to get off. Seemed like they were just going to turn around and take us back to Atlanta. <laughs> just, we're With trying no to maneuver. We're going to go back to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> turns out being tail heavy makes launching easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turns out we have someone who illegally brought, uh, oh. not, not the product, but they were high on Delta 8 right now. We're, <laughs> we're flying. We're going to parachute them off at an Alabama penitentiary. <laughs> you weren't high when you landed, were you? Like yeah. A good times were over. Yeah, sure. No, they were still going. Oh, yeah, I was still high. Yeah, I was still high when I landed. Yeah, for sure. Just no tolerance whatsoever, and everything lasts longer, too. Um, so that's been interesting. What we went to, in, oh, go ahead. We went to the most depressing place I've ever been to. Um, so there's this. There, there <laughs> what are were fresh, you doing in Conway? <laughs> <laughs> there, are, uh, there are very few places in, in like Denver that you can smoke that aren't you're like your like private mm-hmm. place, like your hotel room or your uh, – some hotel rooms allow it, but, you know, you're – whatever you're renting your house, that sort of thing. Um, but one of them, it was, it's called like, um, it's that place where you and I talked about Taylor, the, um, Oh, the little cafe place, the little cafe. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that it was like something out of a horror movie in there? I mean, it's a little seedy, but I don't remember. It being, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad. Dude, we're, we're led into this place where she's like, we have coffee, tea and water. They're free. Would you like a bag of Funyuns? It's like, <laughs> not only Funyuns. What's their though. profit model? They don't have one because 
something about the zoning or the property rights there. Um, they don't technically own the place. They're like renting it. And because they're renting it, they can't sell food, which doesn't make any sense to me. That's bizarre. Did um, you pay for anything? The weed. We paid for weed. I thought that was a different place, the way you described it previously. Okay. They're they're like right next to each other. They're like right, they're attached. They're they're attached at the hip, like same entrance and everything. Mm-hmm. You just kind of turn left and it's the same staff. And that's the racket that you buy weed from their terrible dispensary and then you smoke it and they're incredibly terrible cafe. <laughs> we, you go, we went in this back room with a big table that had cigarette burns all over it, a TV that didn't work and an old couch in the corner. And, uh, and, and we just sat there and like one of the block, one of the walls was nothing but like co- painted concrete blocks, like, like, uh-huh. like, like high school. And the other was uh, like, like this really dingy board that was like warping into the room. And I, w- I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here. I feel like, like, like we're doing more than just weed in here. <laughs> if, if we were watching a movie and, and people were hanging out here, we'd be like, why are they still there? Why yeah. are they still there? <laughs> why haven't they left? Don't they know, you know that the, the one-legged patron behind the bar who's like saying cryptic messages at don't them? Don't they smell the bodies? Don't they smell the bodies? <laughs> okay, These two places had the yeah. same owner. Right. Oh, 100%. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I, I, there's more than one of these places. Like, this is like a common thing. I, I not really. Not, the, the, I don't remember a CD back room. Then again, I didn't get anything from there. I was with oh, my cousin, you didn't go into the CD and it was back literally, room. Like, we just went over there briefly and then we're high and then went out to a restaurant. So we didn't really spend any time there. Yeah. We, had, we hung out there for a little bit waiting on people to land. Do you have any plans to cook or? Yeah. Not. Yeah. Whenever, um, we can get the, the the great minds that have assembled here in Colorado together to uh, to to decide on one meal. I'll do that. I'm making up some sort of breakfast casserole for everyone in the morning with like sausage and egg and cheese and hash browns. Like that thing that like Woody's wife made for me one time that was really fucking good. Um, when I stayed over, she made this breakfast casserole, and oh. I went home. I went home and told. I was like, in North Carolina, they have a breakfast dish called breakfast casserole. <laughs> <laughs> It's incredible. <laughs> it's all your normal breakfast ingredients, but layered. <laughs> That's about right. I'm glad that you liked it. It literally is. It was so good. I'll pass so that good. on. Yeah. So as you know, obviously at least one person has been getting a little too uppity with wanting to do things and not just chill. What, Who what was is, it? Give us the name. Who wants was to it do fish? something? I bet it was scum. Scum just looks like an active person. I think it might have been ZT. I think it might have been ZT. Damn, um, both wrong. Yeah, um, I, I, I think I think so. Um, I don't plan on doing very much of anything. I'm going. I do want to do uh, the the go kart riding. Mm-hmm. That's going to be about it. That's going to be about it. That's because, enough for one week. Because the thing is, um, <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, uh, is it the same crew for? I'm no, it, it's. So some they, leave, some leave, and then some filter in. Like, like a few, a few get replaced, a few don't, um, because this this weed is like so so strong, and I have no tolerance yeah. whatsoever. Like the smallest amounts are like crippling amounts of of, of weed. Like like, <laughs> um, like 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 I don't need to be doing anything right now um, that that requires any sort of responsibility or or uh, or know how. Um, I made fish those tater tots last night. And I was so careful getting them out of the oven. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hang on, let's think about this a minute. We're, yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna want the pot holders. I wasn't sure. At we're first. gonna want the pot holders. <laughs> it's it's four, was it just like <laughs> four hundred and fifty degrees? <laughs> Wait, do you have a thin napkin? <laughs> soak, it, soak it in water first. That'll keep it cold. If you get your hands wet. You can you can quickly <laughs> pull it out of. The, so it, for, it, it was just a for those who don't know that'll speed Ida, burn you, right? Just, what now? Or, just a frozen bag of like or Ida. Yeah, I, I put them in a fucking metal pan and, and, and baked them yeah. for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the cooking. But no, I'm going to do that breakfast casserole uh, in the morning. Mornings are a good time to, to get to me because I'm, You're I'm not high yet. I'm not high yet. <laughs> so um, what are you? What are you, what are you? I don't know how to ask it. Are you doing edibles? Are you smoking flour? What do you smoke out of? I'm curious about this. Um, I've been smoking um, a, uh, a disposable vape a lot. Um, that's like ninety fucking percent um, THC. Oh. So like one hit of it is is just so so strong. Um, oh, so I probably have a bitch vape. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't realize that vapes were more like taking dabs now. 
um, or at least some of them are. And uh, and so I've got like a one gram you vape. Ch- you changed your opinion on vapes, perhaps, because you were kind of anti vape a month or two ago. Yeah, um, this vape is incredibly, incredibly strong. Like like one one or two hits of it is uh, sometimes. I'll get high and I'll forget what I'm doing and I'll just sort of be like puffing, like I've got my nicotine vape, and it's like, oh no, oh no! Like, it, Someone else is going to have to handle the tater tots tonight. I'm literally like, <laughs> I'm in my like recliner chair, like like leaned all the way back with my hands like this, and I'm not trembling, but I'm vibrating on the inside, and I'm just <laughs> and, and and nobody else can like fathom how high I am, so I'm just not even bothering to tell them because what are they going to do with that information? But are you are you getting to that point where like when you tell your hand to move, it's behind your like mental impulse little, and your like, input and, like, lag. Like, you're like yeah, the input lag. That's when I can tell like, oh, I'm I'm way too fucking high. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've gotten way too high like several times already, uh, just from smoking because like they'll smoke joints and they get these fancy caviar joints that are like marijuana mixed with like concentrated marijuana rolled into a really big joint and. Uh, We'll pass that thing around. Sounds I, potent. It's very. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the best weed you can imagine, rolled in the best concentrate you imagine, with the best crystals on earth, <laughs> on the, wrapped in a pot leaf. They managed to make <laughs> the, the wrapping out of mushrooms. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're they, they might. It up. It'll leach into your skin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, and, and like yeah. like two or three hits of that, and and I'm just way way too high. Um, so yeah, just, just, just a little bit of anything and I'm, and I'm way too high. So it's been really easy to get there. What's the entertainment been like? Like what was like number one on your docket of I'm stoned to shit. Let's put this on. You know, I really didn't care once I was stoned. So we watched a bunch of stuff so far. Uh, a lot of trailer park boys. Um, cause a few of them had never seen the trailer park boys. That's surprising. Um, we watched Mandy. Um, cause only one of us, uh, had seen Mandy besides me. That was a fucking <laughs> That's a real ri- uh, wild ride when you're high. Did everyone God. enjoy it? So oh, am yeah. I still in the there was a standing minority? ovation. <laughs> yeah, <I'm scared>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the movie ended and then everyone clapped. It was <laughs> I'm sure they did. just a um, very slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's impression more more so uh, was that like it was really intense and that was odd. Uh, I think that was the ge- the the general uh, thought process on the movie. So uh, I don't think anybody hated it, but um, but I I liked it as much as the first time I saw it. I thought it was super intense. I think I watched it a second time because I thought I missed something, and like legit, my feelings were a little hurt because I thought you were playing a prank on me. Mm-hmm. 